While viewing video in the DW Spectrum client, you can freely switch between playing live camera streams and calling previously recorded video to play from the Spectrum server's media archive. Video playback controls for navigating and searching camera video are found in the playback panel at the bottom of the screen. A camera must be actively open within the viewing area for these controls to be available. For viewing reference, the current system time will display in the bottom left of the client, just above the playback controls. It should be noted that if you are connecting to a DW Spectrum system using a computer located in a different time zone, this setting may not match your local time. This is because the current system time is based on the local time of the server itself and not the client. However, you can confirm that you are viewing live video if the live viewing toggle light on the right-hand side of the playback panel is illuminated. You can click the live viewing toggle to switch back to live video when viewing playback at any time. For viewing playback and navigating archived video, there are several methods, the easiest of which is to use the timeline feature. The timeline is an archive navigation tool located in the center of the playback panel. If there is archived video available for playback, it will be represented on the timeline as highlighted sections in the strip. If multiple cameras are currently displayed in the layout, the individual timelines of each camera will be layered on top of each other. Meanwhile, the currently selected camera's timeline will be at the top. Click anywhere within the timeline to prompt playback to begin at the selected point. A white time marker will indicate where in the archive you are currently viewing. Users can watch playback from multiple cameras individually and at different points in time within the archive, but can also synchronize the footage for viewing. Enable the sync toggle on the right-hand side of the playback panel to synchronize the video in relation to the timestamps. If sync is off, viewing speed controls will only affect the currently selected camera. If the measurement of time is not currently visible on the timeline, such as hours instead of days or minutes instead of hours, there are several ways to home in the timeline. Roll the mouse wheel while hovering over the timeline or click the plus, and minus buttons on the side of the timeline to adjust the time scale. Zooming out will help to see more of the timeline all at once, while zooming in will allow you to see smaller increments of time. To scroll along the timeline, click and drag using the right mouse button or hold the control key, and roll the mouse wheel to move back and forth. You can slide along the timeline using this method to manually control viewing playback. For a more traditional method, you can also use the playback controls on the left-hand side of the playback panel to control the playback speed. Among the controls, users can play or pause playback, fast forward or rewind at different speeds, and jump forward or backward to different chunks of the archive as represented by the timeline. Above the controls, there is also a speed slider that you can click and drag to temporarily change the playback speed. Drag the speed slider to the right to fast forward and drag it left to rewind. Releasing the speed slider will cause the viewing speed to return to a normal speed. In addition to using the timeline to select and navigate playback footage from the archives, DW Spectrum offers alternative options to filter through recorded footage. Smart search tools like object search and motion detection can go a long way toward helping you discover the footage that you need. Here are some of the additional search options available to you through DW Spectrum. You can add a visual element for searching the timeline by using the thumbnail search feature. Enable the show thumbnail toggle to view a strip of thumbnails as you navigate the timeline. These thumbnails will provide you with a still image to preview the recorded video and help to remove some of the guesswork when scrubbing through footage. This feature can be toggled on or off at any time during video playback. While using the timeline is an easy and convenient way to navigate playback, use the calendar search feature if you know the time frame of the wanted archive to quickly move the viewing timeline to a particular date and time. If a date on the calendar is highlighted in solid green, archived video is available for viewing. Meanwhile, a date that is shaded green but not highlighted indicates that the selected camera does not have archive available for playback, 
but another camera currently in the layout does. Dates that are darkened have no archive available. Activating the motion search toggle, either in a camera's viewing window or from the notifications panel on the right, can be used to search the archive for detected motion events. This is dependent on having a motion area set for the camera, which was covered in our previous video, Recording Schedule. When in motion search mode, the selected camera will have a grid overlay. You can draw within the grid to indicate the region of interest for the search. The results for motion detected footage will appear as thumbnail images in the right panel. Click on an image tile to begin viewing the playback. For instances where a system or camera has been integrated with a video analytic engine, another smart search feature available is Object Search. The Object Search feature allows smart searching by filtering results by the object classifications created by the analytic engine. Search results can be filtered by specifying date and time, region of interest, and object type. Depending on the analytic plugin that is applied, the options of what objects and descriptions that can be searched will vary on the types of object classifications that are available. Just like the other smart search options, simply select the results that appear in the right panel to begin viewing footage. If you found recorded video that interests you and want to mark it for viewing later, use the bookmark feature. Bookmarks can easily be created by clicking and dragging in the timeline to highlight a section of footage. After highlighting, right-click and select Add Bookmark to assign a name, description, and search tags for the selected section of footage. Saved bookmarks can be found in the Bookmarks tab in the right panel. You can filter the list of bookmarks by specifying a time frame, camera device, or by using the search option. Double-click on a saved bookmark to begin viewing the bookmarked footage. Keep in mind that a bookmark will be saved for as long as the related video archive is stored on the server. Once the footage has been overwritten, the bookmark will no longer be available. This brings us to the subject of our next lesson, exporting video.